God's servant has a word for you for the year 2023. We are also mindful of the fact that as God has programs and agenda, the devil also has his own programs. Um, Paul speaking, he said, we are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy. And so every time we come to an end of a cycle, transiting into another one, demonic programs patterns are also activated to cut off humankind from the agenda of God for a generation. And so the word of the Lord is necessary because it becomes like the ark of Noah the conveyor that makes for exemption and makes for preservation. The truth is, the world is not going to have the peace everyone is expecting. In fact, the message of peace is the deception of the Antichrist. But we know that in the midst of the chaos and turbulence, there is an exemption program of the Lord and preservation program for his children. And this exemption and preservation program is what the Word of God encapsulates. And so when you get the Word of the Lord, the Word of the Lord becomes that weapon that you run with even as your success and safety is guaranteed in the middle or in the midst of a chaotic world. But before I go into that word specifically for someone who is waiting and who is eager to receive in the spirit of faith, let me just highlight a few strategies and a few things that will happen as we get into 2023, just to give somebody a prophetic direction and to prepare that person to receive this word and run with it. Um, while I was waiting on the Lord, um, a few things were indicated in my spirit um, as the plans that the devil has in place. And there are a few other things that the Lord was showing me that he will begin to do. Because the Bible says all things work together for good. And so every time darkness comes, light of necessity must follow. Jesus speaking, he said, the devil cometh not but for to kill, to steal and to destroy. He said, but I am come. And so even as the devil plans, we know there is a greater plan that God has in place. But for someone not to get into 2023 confused or deceived or manipulated, it's important to know what is going to happen in 2023. And so I just give you a few things. I'll be dealing with it in much details as we resume on the 8th of January. And so let me just highlight a few things. The Lord told me six major things that will happen in 2023. Number one, he said there will be a very strong um, promotion and mobilization of every operation on the face of the earth that has to do with perversion. The spirit of perversion will be on the center stage. And so the, a lot of investment will go in the direction of sponsoring everything that has to do with perversion. And he said that's not just the case because that's already going on. However, he said there will be a very strong opposition and persecution of any voice that rises to negate the operation of perversion. And so before now, you had the liberty to speak against perversion. As we get into 2023, if you attempt to stand against perversion, you'll be met with very strict opposition that can even go to the point of persecution, mutilation, or outright destruction to any voice or any system or anyone that rises up against perversion. So we'll watch out for the spirit of perversion in 2023. On that note also, everyone should be careful with the internet space because that's the channel through which the devil will use to infiltrate the souls of men even as the demonic energy of perversion infiltrates the territory. The second thing the Lord told me is that the Church of Christ will be faced with a lot of persecution also in 2023. We know that Christians have suffered persecution all around the world, but as we get into 2023, it's going to be like a war between the church and the world system. In fact, the lines, the dividing lines will become clearer. And so this is a time for people to grow their faith and also to function with discernment since the battle is becoming fierce. In fact, the Lord told me we have come to the, the, the beginning of the end. The dragon is coming. And these are some of the things the dragon will sponsor and advocate for. And so you can't afford to do church just like a secular organization. You've seen a lot of infiltration in recent times, trying to water down the consecration of the church and to weaken the discernment of the church. All of that is designed to make us helpless and defenseless in the day of trouble. And 2023 is that year where the church will begin to face oppositions it has never seen before. And so we've got to rise up in faith, rise up in discernment, even as we engage 2023, both at individual level and at corporate level. Number three, the Lord told me 2023 will be a year of great famine. A lot of persons will, persons will feel, oh, this is when economies will be reset because many nations, leaders of the world are coming with a lot of promises. That's deception. You would enter into the year and it will look as if, wow, things will become rosy. At, at last, all we are hoping for is about to happen. The economy are not about to improve. The economies of the world are not about to improve. Please don't be deceived. This is a strategy of the devil to make people lose their guard. I want to advise every Christian listening to me. 2023 is that year where you want to be careful with how you spend your money. 
2023 is that year where you want to be careful to invest and not just invest carelessly but invest in fixed assets, things that improve even in the face of inflation. 2023 is also that year where you want to engage in covenant practices. Make sure you give yourself to the ministry of the blood. The blood is what makes for exemption and you also want to be careful to take covenant practices around finances seriously because the Bible said give a portion to seven, give a portion to eight. You know not the evil that will come upon the earth. There is a demonic famine that will come upon the earth and we need a lot, a lot of spiritual strategies to give us the necessary insurance. Don't be deceived when you get into the year and it looks rosy. No, there is something coming and we have to be prepared for it. Number four, the Lord also put it in my heart that 2023 will be a year of great deception. And there are three major kinds of deception we'll see in 2023. The first is what I already highlighted. Some will think the economy is about to reset. All of that is, is just a, a deception of the world order to make you feel things are about to change. In fact, you will notice something that appears like a, a momentary change in economic setting. But all of that is just a mirage. So that is a great deception. There is a great famine coming. Number two, you find leaders and individuals coming with great promises and intellectualism, trying to address the issues of the world. They can't do it. Even they are not aware of what they are up against. These things are manipulated by spirits. And so we have to become strong in the area of priesthood, trusting God for that exemption plan, just like it was in the days of Noah. Every time you find any leader or any system or any organization come up appearing and sounding as though they have a solution to the world system. Just know that is a deception that is coming in in 2023 because there is a prince called the Prince of Deception that will be released into the earth realm in 2023. Just the way a prince of famine will be released, a prince of deception will also be released. So the last major deception we'll find in 2023 is the fact that it would, it, people will be made to feel that the next, the next big thing happening in the world is advancement in technology the internet, the virtual world, and many persons will rush into it. Yes, there is a benefit. There, there are good things on the internet. I'm communicating with you now via the internet. And so we are not saying the internet is outrightly evil. However, it's important for you to know that for every evil, there is a good. It's called the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And so we have to be careful to know what the good is and what the evil is because the internet is not just advancement in civilization or a product of human ingenuity. The internet is the platform for the warfare of the last days. And this is why we have to approach the internet with a, with a lot of discernment because that will take the center stage. If you are not discerning to approach the internet with that mindset of, of, of the kingdom, the internet will become the reason why you lose your consecration. The internet will become the reason why you would compromise. And the internet will become a god to you outrightly. Let me give you a few things that are already, um, already in progress around the world and around technology. As I speak to you now, they are trying to manipulate human DNA. And they are not just doing it with adults anymore. They are beginning to experiment on, on fetus, embryos that just mature to fetus. And they are using these things to test run so they can enhance genetic modification and genetic engineering. When such children are born, they have the ability to understand any language and to speak any language fluently the moment they start talking. They make these things look as though it is advancement in technology, it heightens human intelligence. They even talk about things like anti-aging. All of these things appear beautiful. We won't fight them outrightly, but we know that the goal is to mutilate the soul. When the soul is mutilated, God becomes exonerated from human civilization. And when that happens, the worship and the memory of God will be lost. And our world will become desolate and without God. That will make the world only good for one thing, which is destruction. This is what happened in the book of Genesis chapter 6. The Bible said the thought and the imagination in the heart of man is continually evil. And so when the souls of men are mutilated through advancement in internet, advancement in technology from distraction to corruption to outright wickedness and to outright mutilation and God no longer has a place in the souls of men then the world becomes good for destruction and these programs are taking full expression from the year 2023 so these are five major things the devil is bringing into the year 2023 and it's very important for us to understand that these things must happen as such 
We must build our faith. We must engage in covenant practice. We must build discernment. We must enhance unity and fellowship, especially for the fact that the church will be fought. This is not the time to pitch your tent against your brother. Our unity is very vital as we get into 2023. And finally, 2023 will be the year of test. It will be the year of trials. And so the fate of people will be tried. The genuineness of people will be tried. Nothing fake will go through 2023 successfully. The trials people will go through, the persecution, everything will be a test to verify the originality and the genuineness of people. So please know this. There will be great trials in 2023. It's like, the, the summary is just like the book of um, Psalms 23. You are in the, in the midst of a green pasture. You go through the valley of the shadow of death. You come back to your cup running over. So there will be ups and there will be downs. Whatever trial that comes to you, don't disconnect from God. Let it not affect your allegiance and absolute commitment to God. It's an attempt to disconnect you from your source and you become a cheap prey.